Hey guys, review is CIJ and welcome to the second review of this season. We're in Marusha today, we finished 10th in the standings above Cage Now, if you haven't watched the Cage Run review, please go and watch that. Um, and I'm with my special guest again, Ben. Hello, Ben. Hello. So, remember this year? What do you think of the driving of Marusha? What do you, how do you think Bianchi and Chelsea? Well. Where do I, well, it's very, very mixed. Um, Bianchi far, far outperformed Max Chilton. Uh, Max Chilton, I think, uh, you know, he did well, reasonably well in GP2 for Marisha, I think. Um, but Jules Bianchi was just in another class, to be honest. Um, I didn't, wasn't there one race where he was like 30 odd seconds ahead of, uh, Chilton? Yeah, well, I think that was in Belgium, I think. Exactly, um, and oh, yeah, <laughs> I know he's had he's had a uh, I think one more retirement than Chilton. Chilton's retired once, and Bianchi's retired twice. I but that's, that's still all the races this year. Who? Chilton. He's finished all the races. Uh, it says retired. It says retired in uh, Japan. No, no, I think I've got that messed up because I think Bianchi did in Mexico. Damn it, BBC. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, they'll be really happy with their performance this year. I think they should be too. Uh, you know, they get more money, don't they, for coming 10th? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's why they looked over the moon in Brazil. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Is it down to luck or pure performance? Uh, I'm gonna have to say, uh, it's hard. Some of the, like, Malaysia, the 13th that Bianchi got was performance, pure performance. Um, some of their finishes were through retirements, but I think for the majority, it was pure performance that um, got the Marussia, uh got them the tenth place they wanted. Do you think one of the drivers at Marussia, uh is going to be awarded the best rookie of the year? Yeah, I think that's why you asked me the question because you do too. That's the answer. <laughs> Chilton, obviously. Um, do you think Chilton will stay next year? Obviously, as Bianchi's already been. Uh, yeah, I think they've built a relationship with with Chilton. Yeah, Chilton. Um, and I think they will keep him. Uh, and I don't think they're going to get rid of Bianchi. They're going to try and hold on to Bianchi. Well, Bianchi's already signed a contract to stay, so. Uh, well, there you go then. Um, but I think Bianchi will be looking for bigger things later in his career. I think Chilton will be too. Um, but I think Bianchi will probably be more successful quicker than Chilton due, well, kicking it off with the performance he had in 2013. Right, so ask me a few questions now. Alright, um, what's your view then on the 2013 season for Marussia? Um, in my view, it's been decent. It's not been brilliant, obviously. But I, I feel a bit sorry for him really because obviously they got Bianchi is performing quite well even if, even if like for example in Belgium when they finished 18th and 19th. Bianchi finished 18th about 45 seconds ahead of bloody Chilton in 19th, you know. Chilton, I respect him because I think Chilton are just, I think he's once obviously seen Roland Grosch and be an absolute nutcase last year. And as we go on to the Lotus ones, I think he's been one of the most improved drivers, if not the most improved driver this year. But that's to talk about in another video. But um, I think after seeing um, Grosch and being a bit of a nutcase last year, I think some of the rookies like Chilton have just backed off a little bit this year, trying not to make themselves, you know, nutters and crash everyone off. Because I don't think Chilton is he. Has he crashed anyone off this year or caused an incident? I don't, I don't think so. That's what, that's what I mean. I He's think. been very sensible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Even if he finishes in last every race. Um, He's I mean, always been positive as well. I've got, I've got to say that. He's always positive, always smiling. He obviously really, really doesn't take for granted the opportunity he's got. I mean, some drivers which we can talk about in another video, for instance, Lewis Hamilton, even though I support him, sometimes he just really gets down in the dumps and Max Chilton seems to always be happy and happy with what he's got. Mm. Do you think one of the big teams will snap Bianchi up in 2015? 2015? Yeah, because I'll see next year. Um, yeah. Um, maybe a few more years. Uh, maybe in the mid-field in 2015. 
Um, but I really do see a great future for Jules Bianchi. Yeah, talking about Kaitron situation again. Do you think Marusha ha- were better this year? Well, car wise, do you think Marusha were better this year or Kaitron? I think Kaitron had the better car, but um, Marusha definitely had a, a better driver in Bianchi mm. uh, than Van der Gaard or uh, Charles Peak. Charles Peak, and he really. Bef- I think Bianchi surprised the team with how good he was. Uh, to be honest. I mean, you, you've got to forget. I mean, I mean, all hail blooming Bianchi because um, he didn't actually sign a contract till two weeks till the season start because Louis Ratzio was actually going to be driving for him. If you remember, um, they announced that Ratzio was going to be driving for him. Um, he did the first test around Barcelona, then said he hadn't got enough money. So, in all retrospect, he's been fantastic. Bianchi has because he only had two tests to be at Chelsea's free this year and he just jumped in the car I think he's just blended with the car I think he's probably I think he's a better driver than Bax Chelsea I mean I don't think you can really doubt that but I don't know I mean he could be my verdict is obviously Bianchi's been better but you know with the less tests obviously he, like I say he was set to get to force India but Sotil jumps in so, Bianchi could have been out of drive with it this year without Marussia. So, you know, who knows? It's a weird one. Yeah, it is. Um, so, uh, this time I'll ask you, what are you going to give uh, uh, Marussia out of 10? Whew. Let's give him a... I'm going to give him... It's really hard because considering the both of the drive performance, I want to give like a 10 for Bianchi and a 1 for Chilton. But... Um, Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yeah, I'd probably say seven too. So that's about even with Marussia. Um, so yeah, but I think. Do you want to sign off? Yep, let's sign off. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys. Thank you Ben for coming um, for the no last problem. two. Um, we'll see you again in the next one. Um, we'll see Ben in the next one, and hopefully we can see you guys in the next one. And that is. Let me just wait. And that is going to be for Williams. How fun's that going to be with a bit of Pastor Maldonado then? <laughs> see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.